Hello everybody, this is Susan52 from iSquidoodoo.com and today I'm going to show you step by step how to create a page or a lens on Squidoo. And you may think that the first thing we're going to do is hit that nice orange button, create a page. But no, not yet. Before you hit the button and go to the lens workshop, you need to do a few things. First, you need to decide on the subject of your lens. And when you're thinking about the subject, you probably have something in mind, but make sure that you narrow down your subject to a topic people are interested in, something not too broad, something you can cover in, in, the, in the space of a very interesting lens, just enough, not too much, just keep it just right. And we'll talk about some more about what to include in a minute. Now, if you're familiar with SEO or search engine optimization, what you should do is research the best keywords for the topic that you're thinking about. If you're not familiar with SEO and you're brand new to Squidoo, I don't want you to think about it at all. For now, I want you to think. I want you to just go ahead and come up with your own topic, and don't worry about keywords and don't worry about SEO. Those are things that you can learn later. I'd rather that you learn how to make a, a nice lens and then go back to uh, researching keywords. But if you know how to do that already, you might want to do that uh, and come up with be the best keywords you can for the topic that you're thinking about. Okay, things to decide on. Before we start the lens, we need to have a title. And we need to have a URL. The URL is the part of the, that uh, of the lens uh, name or the address of the lens that you will see it comes after the squidoo.com slash so we need to th talk about that the URL and the title now I'm gonna make a lens today called and I've decided on my title it's gonna be squidoo lens creation demo watch me make a lens which is what you're doing right now and I've decided that the URL is going to be simply squidoo lens creation demo and it's important that I come up with a, a URL that I really like and I'm not going to change or want to change later on because I can't change it. Of all the things that you put on your lens, the URL is the one thing that you can't change. You can change the title, you can change the modules later on, but you can't change the URL. So think hard about what you want to name the lens or where the address where the lens is going to reside on online. You're also going to think about the category where Squidoo will file the lens uh, uh, within the site. Now categories can be found, we'll go back to the Squidoo page here, and you, you, this is the Squidoo.com homepage, and you can see the different categories, there are a lot of them on here, and we can, you can choose your favorite one. Um, let's just say you want to do we'll just pick the first one foods and cooking you can click on any of these more buttons and you can see the rest of the subcategories Squidoo has categories and and subcategories and then sub subcategories so we go to three levels <clears throat> so decide what topic fits your subject best choose that topic and then look here at the subtopics if if I'm going to do a dessert recipe my subtopic would be dessert rep recipes but I can break it down even further into the sub subtopics so if my dessert is going to be a, a brownie recipe I would choose the brown cookies and brownies sub subtopic so keep those in mind and record those. In fact, what I suggest that you do is open a notepad. I, I use notepad to, to keep notes for all of my lenses and I would write that down. Write down the, the main topic, the subtopic, and the sub subtopic that you're going to use because you'll need those in a few minutes here. Now tags come next. Tags are short words or phrases that describe the topic of your lens and again for mine we're gonna this is a lens creation demonstration squidoo tips is a good tag lenses first lens uh, I put just the word lens and even uh, the other misspelling actually L-E-N-S-E a lot of people spell lens with an E on the end of it so they're gonna search for that word so I want to have the that word in with my tags also lens making, squidoo, and how to squidoo. That's a, a good list of tags at least to get me started. You can have up to 40 
on a lens, but I don't recommend you start with 40. You can add those, add a few later, but this is a good start. So, as I said, record all these things, the title, the URL, the category, and the tags in a notepad or other text file. Then, you're ready to write. And we're still not ready to hit that orange create button yet, but we're ready to write. And what we want to do is outline, organize, and pre-write the lens. So outline the lens to make the information flow. The sections of, an out, of the outline for your lens will become the modules or the building blocks of the lens. You'll have text mod modules, maybe video modules, maybe a poll will be on your lens, even the guest book will be probably at the end of your lens. So you come up with an outline, take some notes, and record these things again on the, your notepad file here. Focus on your topic and don't get sidetracked. Uh, like I said before, narrow it down. Remember, a lens is something that focuses on a topic. That's why we call them lenses on Squidoo, because they focus on something very narrow. So don't get sidetracked. That's why it's a good idea to make an outline, because it'll keep you on track. All right, now, once you have your outline, you need to pre-write each module. And I have your, you don't have to, but you'll be glad you did. Because if once you pre-write the modules, you'll know how the information is going to flow. You can rearrange it if you want to. And then when you get to the workshop of the lens, it will be a simple matter of taking that text that you've written and copying it and pasting it in to the lens in the workshop. So you'll be really glad you did uh, go through all this preliminary work. Always remember to start with the intro module which should be just that, an introduction to your topic. Don't try to do an entire summary, but just tell everyone what you're going to tell them. And just do it briefly, but Squidoo lenses do have an intro module. Uh, uh, it's not an option, it's always there. and You have to have a picture too to go with your intro module. So come up with uh, a nice uh, text module that will tell people, tell your uh, future visitors to your new lens what they're going to be reading about. And that's, it's important to make that uh, interesting and to make it very informative because people are going to, that's the first thing they're going to see about your lens. And they're going to decide right then and there if they want to scroll on down or if they want to hit that back button. So write a good, interesting intro module. Then proceed through the outline. And write the text, dividing it into sections. Uh, you don't have to know all about the modules yet, but you'll have, like I said, different sections of text and break it up into manageable, readable sections. That's a, an important thing to do too. Remember attention spans. Now, we don't want to keep anybody on one section uh, for a very long time reading. It's difficult to read a huge unbroken up section of words, so keep, keep them uh, manageable sized. Also, choose pictures to go on your lens. Choose pictures for each of those text modules, especially, as I said before, you have to have a picture for your intro module. So find pictures, and uh, that's the topic of how to find pictures will be addressed on uh, maybe another video or at least on another lens. But for the time being, choose pictures. Hopefully you have your own, or if not, there are places online where you can find pictures to use on your lens. And when you do that, load those pictures onto your computer and save their locations and the links and what I do again is paste those onto my notepad file so I'll have those and I can go back and immediately find them. Alright, are you finished writing? Now you're ready to create the lens so therefore we can proceed to the orange button. Now we were on again on squidoo.com on the main page and you can certainly create you can uh, use this create a page link or if you happen to be on your Squidoo dashboard you'll notice up here it says make a new lens you'll notice here's an orange create a lens link here's a, an orange create a lens link you can do any of those so let's just choose one and I'm gonna click all right here we are and this is the lens workshop and there's certain information here that they're asking for. So the title of my lens. Okay, where was that title? Well, I have it. Again, I've written it all out in my notepad file. So here's my title. I'm just going to simply copy it 
and I'm going to paste it back in here. Now, notice something that when you put the title of your lens in the workshop, it automatically fills that same title in here as the URL. So if I left it that way, this whole long URL, squidoo.com slash squidoo lens creation demo watch me make a lens, would be my URL or the address of my future lens. I don't want that to be my URL. Remember, we decided over here my URL is going to be squidoo lens creation demo. So what I'm going to do is go back here and just to make sure that it's exactly the way I want it, I'm going to delete what was filled in automatically and I'm going to pay well, I didn't, I guess I didn't copy that. Let me go back and copy that again. All right, delete, and let's paste that in. Squidoo Lens Creation Demo, that is going to be my URL. Remember what I said? The URL cannot be changed once you've built the lens, so make sure that's exactly the way you want it to be. All right, pick your topic. We talked about the topics or the categories. And again, mine, let me go look and see. I had Squidoo Community and Lens Making Tips and Making Your First Lens. So let's go down here again. Let me drop that menu down again. Squidoo Community is down at the bottom here. Pick my subtopic, Lens Making Tips, and one more subtopic, Making Your First Lens. Is that what I said? That's what I said. Okay, that's why I write everything down. I can't remember things very well. All right, while I'm back over here, I'm going to copy my tags because that's what I need next. We need to add tags. So I'm going to paste those in there. Very easy. There it is. There we have it. Okay, it also says here to quick pick some modules. These are some of the default modules that are available in Squidoo. And for the time being, I'm just going to leave them the way they are. And we'll skip through that right now and enter our security word. And now we will click on this magic orange button to build my lens. Let's see what we get. All right, here we have a workshop. And I, we got some points. We get points from the monsters for building new lenses. All right, here's my title, Squidoo Lens Creation Demo, Watch Me Make a Lens. Now again, if I want to change that, I can do it because that's not my URL, that's my title. So I can change it in the future, anytime in the future, but for the time being, I don't want to do that. I want to leave it alone. The, here is the intro module. And if we go back to my notes, I've written out my intro and I have Here's the title, what I want for the title of my intro module. So we click on edit here. Here's my title. And the description of the lens or the text that I've written for my lens. I have it here. And I'm going to copy it in. Now, what else is important in the introduction? What is required? A picture. No image yet. So I'm going to choose my file and I, okay, focus your lens. I'm going to upload my file. Well, whoops, I can't upload it until I choose it. So let's choose the file. And notice something here. I clicked the wrong tab or the wrong little button there. That's okay. It didn't hurt anything, didn't break anything. Don't be afraid to click on things in Squidoo. You can't hurt anything. Now, you don't want to delete things, but, you know, be careful about that. If you've, if you've put things in, you don't want to delete them. But if it's okay. There was an error with my file upload because I hadn't didn't choose a file yet. So, I'm going to choose a file. And, okay, I'm, there's my picture that I have on my computer, and I'm going to upload that here. And, you know, if I decide I don't like this picture later, by the way, I can change it. Remember, it's not a URL, so I can change it. Okay, so there's my intro module for the time being, and I'm going to click on Save, and there it is. Now, another thing I want to show you, first of all, we're going to be adding some modules down here, that, the ones that we've pre-written. We need to have text modules and so forth to add, and we're going to add those in a minute, but I want to show you something on the right that's important. Um, you should always have a lens bio, and if you have your account set up with a, a bio for your own for your uh, Squidoo account, 
the lens is going to go to the default bio if you have that specified and that's what will show on the lens. If you want to do a custom lens bio and that actually is a good idea and you can do that later on then you can click on this box and then you can enter the text for your de default or for your custom bio but for the time being I'm gonna leave mine as the default bio. Also your photo. Uh, most people will tend to use their uh, Squidoo avatar, the account avatar that's associated with your account. And you can do that or you can update a, a specific uh, another picture if you want to do that that will go specifically with this lens. For the time being I'm going to leave that uh, for this account. Now, like I said, we need to add some modules over here on the left because we've uh, go back to my text here. I've typed my text. For, I have several text miles. I have uh, text modules. I have black boxes and I need to add those so I can fill them out over here. So there's a shortcut to adding modules here and you can do those but not all the modules that there are on Squidoo are listed here. This is just some of the mo most uh, often used ones. If you want to add other modules just go up here to the top of the workshop remember we're in your workshop and click on add modules. And when you do that I like to use the all modules, the A to Z list, so I can find modules quickly on on here. I'm going to go to T because I know I need several text modules. Now I'm clicking over here on the left, but you see it's adding them on the right. And I can either, I know I need several for this. In fact, I actually need six. So, because I counted them. And every time I click, it adds one over here. Or you can click this way. And Squidoo, then when we're done adding, it will add six text modules. I know I need a couple of black boxes, so I'm going to go to B and I'm going to get a couple of black boxes. I also know that I'm going to want a YouTube video, so I'm going to add that. And of course, I want a guest book. I think all lenses, almost all the time, you should have a guest book on your lens. It should be down near the bottom. So, we're going to add these and I'm done adding for now. So we'll click the done adding and here we have a whole bunch of empty text modules in a row. We have some empty black box modules. We have the YouTube and we have the guest book. Now that's not necessarily the sequence. In fact, that is not the sequence where that I'll end up using. I know, for instance, that I want to put my YouTube module near the top of my lens. So what I'm going to do is come over here on the right again to where it says sort modules. My guest book will stay at the bottom but I know that the YouTube module is going to go up to the, t to the top here. Now again these fall after your intro module. You can't move it. It will just stay at the top so it's not included here. And I know I'm going to have a text module and then a black box and then I'm going to have a couple more text modules and another black box more text modules in a guest book. And right now that's the sequence of, of what I've pre-written. So I'm going to apply that and Squidoo will rearrange these modules. And so you can see the YouTube is there. Now, for the t I'm not going to fill all these in on this video because that'll take a long time, but I'm going let's go to the first text module. And then I'm going to go back again to my pre-written lens. Okay, and here's my text module. The first title is this, and I'm going to copy it in. First step, choose your subject title and URL. That should sound familiar. That's what we just did. Subtitle, get ready to bring your subject into focus. That's going to be the subtitle of my module. You don't always have to have one, but I recommend that you do have one. Uh, write something just a little personable. Give, you, give your uh, lenses a little personality. Sometimes you don't have to be totally serious all the time on your lenses. Alright, and again here is the text for that module. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste that in. And right now I don't have a picture for this module, so I'm not going to add one. But if you did, notice that the text modules are a little bit different the way you uh, add pictures. You add them at the bottom here, 
and you can label the photo and you can even link the photo to a URL if you want to. So if it's on your computer you can just choose the file and fill out these fields if you want to and upload the photo there. Then you'll go back here and save this text module and the picture will be on it. Again, I don't have one yet, but I'll have one later. Uh, let's see, just quickly let's go to the black box. I think this is what on my, my one on my black box. I want to see how it looks. So I'm going to edit that module and for the title part of my black box I'm going to put a question and for the rest of the black box I'm going to put an answer. So let's do that and let's see what it looks like when I save it. Okay, that's what it looks like. So again, when you do a black box module, this part that you put in what would be the title of your module shows up in larger in a larger font and then this part, the body of the black box, when you look at it again, is a little bit smaller. So all right. Now that's I think you can get the gist of how to do it from there. And when you have everything filled out and you're pretty happy with the way it looks, you can do a couple things. First of all, you can come up here and preview the lens. I'm going to do that. All right, look, this is how my lens is going to look when I publish it. And I get a really nice little look about that. And obviously, whoops, I don't have a YouTube video in there yet. That's okay. I can go back and put that in. And there's my text module. And uh, there are other modules down here that don't show because there's nothing in them. But uh, I wouldn't leave it to chance that they're not going to show. If you have a module on your lens, you need to fill it in in the workshop. But that's looking pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. But if I see a, an error, it's nice to come back and read through and make sure it, it's uh, everything's formatted nicely and it looks the way you want it to look. And it's good to be able to do that before at, in this preview before you actually publish the lens. And I'm not going to publish this yet because I, I want to go ahead and finish it before I do. But when you're finished and you're ready to publish, all you have to do is hit this big orange button at the top that says Publish, and Squidoo will create your lens. So that's all we're going to talk about now. We'll have other things to talk about later to add to it. But that gives you a really good overview, I think, on how to create a lens on Squidoo. And if you want to know more, you can go look for this lens, which will will be live, we hope, here very shortly. Squidoo Lens Creation Demo, and I'll have the link here in the video. Okay, this is Susan52 again, and thank you so much for listening.